we're going to talk about the top four neighborhoods in Hurricane Utah that our clients absolutely love. If you're thinking about moving to Hurricane Utah, you're going to want to stick around to the very end of this video to find out more. Don't you click off. We'll cover what it's like to live there, talk about schools, utilities, proximity, exact location, as well as cover some of the price ranges for the listings that are currently active in those neighborhoods. My name is Nick Rostopchin, and this is my wife and business partner, Michonne Rostopchin. Together, we have helped hundreds of people relocate right here to Southern Utah, and they absolutely love it. So even if you're remotely considering moving to Hurricane Utah or anywhere around this area, please do not hesitate and reach out to us. We always answer our phones, text messages, and social media messages, so please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We would absolutely love to hear from you. I assure you that you won't be making a mistake by moving right here to Southern Utah. The only mistake that you can make is by moving into the wrong neighborhood. So please reach out to us. We would love to hear all your wants and needs and we will pair you with the perfect neighborhood for you and your family. So before we dive into top four best places to live right here in Hurricane Utah, let's talk a little bit about the city. Here is the inside scoop on what it's like to live in Hurricane Utah. First of all, Hurricane is a small city with a population of just over 22,000 people, according to 2021 census. It's located in the southwestern region of the United States, and it's known for its scenic beauty and outdoor activities. Hurricane Utah is located just 15 miles north of St. George, Utah, 125 miles north of Las Vegas, Nevada, and 300 miles south of Salt Lake City with an elevation above sea level at 2,900 feet. Historically, Hurricane has been a little more affordable than the rest of Southern Utah. Most locals have been so spoiled with less than a 10 minute average drive to just about anywhere from St. George. So the Hurricane being 15 minutes away felt like a far drive for most of the people that live here. Over the last few years, Hurricane has been expanding rapidly with many new residential subdivisions, lots of vacation rental communities, and even a new water park. However, most commercial development is still slow to come to the area. We have all the basic amenities, some good restaurants on State Street, downtown Hurricane, public schools, some limited shopping like Walmart and a couple of smaller grocery stores. We're expecting to see quite a bit more commercial development in the very near future. However, for now, St. George can fill that gap with just a 15 minute drive. The reason why so many of our clients chose to call Hurricane Utah their home is access to outdoor recreation. San Hollow State Park is just a short drive away. It is the perfect place to go swimming, boating, fishing, hiking, and biking. There are countless off-road trails suitable for side-by-sides, Jeeps, or dirt bikes. Zion National Park is just 30 minutes away and people travel to visit this incredible destination from all over the world. There are three world-class golf courses located right here in Hurricane Utah. The Lynx at Sand Hollow, Copper Rock, and Sky Mountain Golf Course. The city also has a great sense of community. Hurricane hosts several events throughout the year, including the Peach Day Festival, which celebrates the city's peach harvest. The Hurricane Fine Arts Festival and Farmer's Market are also popular events that bring people together. When it comes to housing, Hurricane has a range of options to fit different budgets and lifestyles. The city has a mix of newer developments and historic homes, as well as apartments and condominiums. The cost of living in Hurricane is relatively affordable compared to other cities in the region. If you're thinking about living in Hurricane, Utah, property taxes can be an important part of the planning process. Fortunately, Hurricane, Utah honors Washington County's primary residence exemption. So if you purchase a primary residence here, your tax bill will be slashed by nearly 45% compared to a second home or an investment property. Hurricane property taxes are considerably lower than the rest of the country, but slightly higher than St. George proper. Washington County Assessor's website offers this nifty tax calculator that you can play with and plug in whatever values you'd like for yourself. But for the sake of this video, we used a $600,000 value of a primary residence. After the primary residence exemption, the total annual tax bill would be just $2,623. For a property with the same valuation in St. George, 
would be just $2,348. It is a marginal difference, especially when compared to what a property tax bill would look like in most surrounding states. Hurricane also has a good school system with several public and private schools to choose from. Utah Tech University, formerly known as Dixie State University, a four-year public university, is located just 30 minutes away in St. George. The St. George Regional Airport is just 15 minutes away, providing jet service to Salt Lake City, Phoenix, Denver, and Dallas. Folks, before we dive into the top four communities that we're covering in this video, let's chat a little bit about the utilities. All four of these communities are going to be on Hurricane City Utilities for water, sewer, and trash. So the average monthly bill for those utilities is gonna be about the same. It's gonna be around 90 bucks. Some will have natural gas or propane, depending on location. Natural gas is usually around $20 a month, and propane can vary depending on location and usage. It is fair to expect for the homes with pools to have substantially higher costs of utilities as the water and gas usage increases considerably when filling and heating the pool. Power companies vary depending on the subdivision. Most of local power companies offer some of the most affordable pricing per kilowatt, with Dixie Power being the cheapest at around six cents per kilowatt and Hurricane City Power at around eight cents per kilowatt. Let's talk about the top four neighborhoods that our clients love. First, we're gonna start with Dixie Springs. Dixie Springs is a master plan community located just minutes away from Sand Hollow State Park, Sand Hollow Golf Course, Sand Hollow Sand Dunes, Yogi Bear's Jellystone Water Park, and Quail Creek State Park, making it a popular destination for outdoor enthusiasts. Dixie Springs has a mix of single-family homes featuring RV garages, often double RV garages. There is a massive city park with the neighborhood's own dog park, several playgrounds, and splash pads for the kids. It is a perfect place to live if you have a lot of dirt toys, cars, RVs, motorcycles. Most people in this community love their toys and proximity to the dunes and the off-road trails. Owning a Jeep or a side-by-side, -side, or at least a boat is pretty much a must if you wanna live here. One other thing you will notice is that this community has the largest number of homes with RV garages in all of Utah. Dixie Springs is located right next to San Hollow State Park. It's about a quarter mile away from the lake and less than 10 minutes away from I-15. Due to its location, Dixie Springs does get a little windy. Afternoon winds are pretty common here and it seems to be a bit more prominent during the winter time. Dixie Springs is in Washington County School District, so elementary school here would be Three Falls Elementary. Intermediate school would be Hurricane Intermediate. Junior high school would be Hurricane Middle. Senior high school would be Hurricane High. Total number of dwellings in this neighborhood is 1,390. Average price range right now at the time of the recording of this video is anywhere from 600,000 to about 1.5 million. There are 18 total active listings in the neighborhood right now, and we will post a link to all of them in the description below this video. And one other very important point for a lot of our clients is that this neighborhood does not have an HOA. Another great Hurricane Utah community that won't break the bank is Fire Rock. We've had so many of our clients move here because they absolutely love everything that this subdivision has to offer. Fire Rock is one of Southern Utah's newest residential communities where the beauty of nature meets modern living. The subdivision offers spectacular views of Pine Valley Mountain, Red Cliffs Desert Reserve, and Zion National Park. The homes in Fire Rock are stunning with modern architecture and high-end finishes. For those who love the great outdoors, Fire Rock Subdivision has plenty to offer. The community is surrounded by miles of hiking and biking trails, providing endless opportunities to explore the natural beauty of Southern Utah. It is the perfect place to call home. Homes in this subdivision range from 1,700 square feet to about 4,000. Most properties have a three-car garage and some homes have an RV garage. It is one of Hurricane's newest subdivisions, so no homes are older than three years old with plenty of available lots and a few new homes being built as we speak. Fire Rock's location is adjacent to Sky Mountain Golf Course, right next to IHC Instacare and Pig's Ear Restaurant. The school district is in Washington County. Elementary school is Hurricane Elementary. Intermediate school is Hurricane Intermediate. Junior high school, Hurricane Middle. 
and senior high school, Hurricane High. There's a total number of 168 dwellings. The lot sizes range from 0.18 acre to 0.19 acre. There is no HOA in this subdivision and the average price ranges at the time of shooting this video is 550,000 to 850,000. And there is a total of four active listings right now on the market. And the next subdivision we're going to cover is the North Slope at Copper Rock. The North Slope at Copper Rock is a great new neighborhood located on the North Slope of Copper Rock Golf Course in Hurricane, Utah. One of Southern Utah's most beautiful golf courses is directly to the south of this neighborhood, while Sand Hollow State Park is to the north. This subdivision at the time of producing this video is barely over a year old. So most homes in this subdivision are new or newer construction. One thing that stands out and we find aesthetically pleasing is the color of the block walls in this neighborhood. Historically, most block walls surrounding the homes in most of Southern Utah is red, which does not match the modern color palette. You'll notice that the block walls at the North Slope of Copper Rock are a mix of grays and the lot sizes average a quarter acre. So it is a big deal as it becomes a part of your backyard view. This subdivision features mostly modern and traditional architectural styles with variety of floor plans that are designed to fit just about any household. The new extension of SR7 makes this community easily accessible as it runs parallel to I-15, making the drive to Sand Hollow State Park just five minutes, downtown Hurricane no more than 10 minutes, and about 25 minutes to downtown St. George. Currently, the North Slope at Copper Rock is in phase one and two, with quite a few more available lots, so it will likely continue to grow for at least two more years. If you have school-aged children in your family, this info is probably important. So let's talk a little bit about the school districts for the North Slope at Copper Rock. It is located in the Washington County School District. Elementary school would be the Three Falls Elementary. Intermediate school is Hurricane Intermediate. Junior high school is Hurricane Middle. And high school is Hurricane High. Currently in phase one and two, the total number of dwellings is just 58, but that number is definitely going to grow. There is a $30 a month HOA that includes maintenance of common areas. Average price range at the North Slope at Copper Rock is anywhere from 580,000 to about 2.6 million. And at the time of recording this video, there are three active listings and there is a link provided in the description below this video so you could see for yourself. By the way, that link will update regardless of when you watch that video. So it'll always show you all the current active listings in that subdivision. And if you're shopping for something that's centrally located, will give you a little bit more bang for the buck and is really close to everything in Hurricane Utah. Painted Sands might be the neighborhood for you. Painted Sands is a residential subdivision just 20 minutes from St. George. The subdivision is situated in an elevated, beautiful desert landscape with stunning views of the surrounding mountains. The community features a variety of homes, including single family homes and townhomes. So there's a little bit for everybody with a range of sizes and styles to suit different needs and preferences. Residents of Painted Sands enjoy a peaceful and quiet neighborhood with plenty of amenities nearby. The subdivision is close to schools, shopping, dining, entertainment options, making it an ideal place to raise a family or retire. Just like any other subdivision in Hurricane, Painted Sands is close to hiking, biking, golfing, water sports, and 30 minutes to the entrance to Zion National Park. Overall, Painted Sands is a desirable subdivision in Hurricane Utah, offering a high quality of life and a great location for those who enjoy outdoor activities and a small town atmosphere. The location of Painted Sands is just north of SR9, close proximity to Walmart, Instacare, Downtown Hurricane, shopping and gyms. The school district is in Washington County. Elementary school is Hurricane Elementary. Intermediate school is Hurricane Intermediate. Junior high school is Hurricane Middle. And senior high school is Hurricane High. The total number of dwellings in Painted Sands is 95. There is a $50 monthly HOA that covers common area maintenance, and the average price range in this subdivision is $380,000 to $650,000. And at the time of recording this video, there are a total number of 10 active listings. 
And one more thing that I wanted to add is there is a dynamic link to all active listings for Painted Sands in the description below this video. This link will have all the active listings regardless of when you're watching this video. In conclusion, if you're looking for a small city with a strong sense of community and access to outdoor activities, Hurricane Utah might be the perfect place for you. With affordable housing options and good schools, it is a great place to call home. We couldn't possibly cover all the great neighborhoods in Hurricane Utah in just one video. So if these four neighborhoods didn't check all the boxes for you, please reach out to us because we can't reach out to you and tell us a few things that are important to you and some that might be a deal breaker and we will be sure to pair you with the right place for you to live right here in Hurricane Utah. We're curious to know which one of these four neighborhoods that we covered in this video did you like the most? Drop in the comments below. We're gonna start a poll. Drop in the comments below which was your favorite your favorite neighborhood and let's see which one wins. Yeah, and if, if you don't like any of them, there are plenty of neighborhoods right here in Southern Utah. As you can see behind Michonne, Hurricane has a population of over 22,000 people according to 2020 census, so it's probably more right now. And there's definitely a little bit of something for everyone around here. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call, shoot us a text, get in touch with us today. The ball is in your court. Let us know what are some of the most important things for you and we'll go to work. We will pair you with the right neighborhood. See you in the next one.